Welcome to ACAD Designing. This is the SOLIDWORKS 3D modeling exercise number 3. We make this simple 3D model with the help of this diagram. Start your SOLIDWORKS software. Click on new and double click on the part. We have a diagram. You can check the link in the description to download this diagram for your practice. First, we analyze the diagram and decide the steps. We make this sketch in half segment. Then, we use the mirror entities tool and complete the sketch. Next, extrude the sketch to 40 millimeters. Then our 3D model will be completed. Before starting the drawing, we will confirm whether we have selected the correct unit system or not. You can change the unit system which is required from here. For the sketch of dimension, we will change to setting. Click on this gear wheel icon for system options. In the system option tab, select the sketch. And here is the option. Enable on screen numerical input on entity creation. Just check this option. Now, we can enter the unit value of each entity during the draw entities. If we select this option, then where we give units values to the entities, there will be dimension create automatically. You can manage this option according to your need. Just click on OK. Now we start the sketch. Select the front plane and click on sketch. We will draw a construction line for mirror reference. Go to the sketch tab. Drop down the line option and select the center line. By tracking the origin point, we will draw a vertical center line as follows. Escape the command. Now, take the line command. From the center of this diagram, we will draw the half sketch of this diagram. Then, with the help of the mirror entities tool, we will complete the remaining half sketch. For the first point of the line, we will set it to the original point and draw a line straight horizontally on the left. Enter the 10 millimeters. Continued to draw a line vertically to upside and enter the 6 millimeters. Then, straight horizontally to the left and put the value 25 millimeters. Next, draw a line vertically to upside and enter the 7 millimeters. Then, draw the line straight horizontally to the right side and enter the 15 millimeters. Next, draw a line straight vertically to upside and enter the calculated value, 21 millimeters. Then, draw the line straight horizontally to the right side and enter the 8 millimeters. Now see here, we need a reference to draw this inclined line. Here we draw some reference lines. Vertically 12 mm and horizontally 8 mm if we calculate the measurement. Half of 24 mm is 12 mm, minus half of 8 mm is 4 mm, so we have to draw line 8 mm straight to right. Draw a line straight vertically to the downside and enter the value 12 mm. Then, draw the line straight horizontally to the right side and enter the 8 millimeters. Next, draw a line straight vertically to the downside and enter the value 5 millimeters. Then, draw the line straight horizontally to the right side and enter the 4 millimeters. Escape the command. Make sure we have drawn lines in the correct dimension. Now, we will take line tool again and draw the remaining slant line. This point to. This point. Escape the command. Now, select these two reference lines and delete it. Our sketch is ready to mirror the center line. Just select this all entities. And, select the Mirror Entities tool from Sketch tab. Ensure that, the selected entities have listed an Entities to Mirror section. Also check that, all the selected entities have been converted to sky blue color. Select the Mirror About section. And we will select the central line that we created for reference. 
Now you can see preview of the mirroring entities are visible in yellow color. Right click to OK and end the command. Now our sketch is completed. Just cross check it. Get smart dimension tool and check any one dimension. Like between this first point and this second point. Place the dimension. This dimension is 24 millimeters as show in the diagram. We have received a notification here that we cannot change this dimension. Just ignore it and click on OK. Go to Features tab and select Extrude Boss Base Tool. Sketch has been extruded in this direction. We want to change its direction, for this we will click on this reverse direction icon. We can switch the direction with help of this reverse direction option. Enter the depth value 40 mm. And see the preview of 3D model. Click on OK. Our 3D model is ready. Let me choose some material for this 3D model. Go to Appearance. Click on Appearance. Select Metal. Expand the Metal options. Select Steel Metal. And I chose Cast Stainless Steel Material. Just drag it on a 3D solid model and click on the body icon. Here we applied material on this 3D object. You can choose any other material as you like or as per your requirement. I hope all the steps you have understood. If you do not understand any of the steps, then comment to me. As soon as possible I will answer you. If you like this video then hit the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next exercise tutorial. Have a nice day.